Let's tackle the select all that apply NCLEX question of the day. So the nurse is caring for a patient with ulcerative colitis. Which of the following manifestations should the nurse anticipate? Now, what is ulcerative colitis? So let's break down the word. Ulcerative means ulcers, and colitis, C-O-L, stands for colon, and itis is the suffix for inflammation, okay? So this is ulcers and inflammation of the colon. Now, when studying for the NCLEX, it is extremely important that you are able to differentiate ulcerative colitis from Crohn's. Now, let's tackle this, select all that apply, and do that together. So, would the nurse anticipate liquid bloody stools and ulcerative colitis? Yes, we have inflammation of the lower colon, and we are having it associated with ulcers, so you will have liquid bloody stool. Option B, left lower quadrant pain. Yes, you will have left lower quadrant pain in ulcerative colitis, not right lower quadrant pain. Option C, diagnostic test showing ulcers originating in the rectum and moving in a continuous pattern upward in the colon. This is hallmark for ulcerative colitis. It originates in the distal rectum and it moves upward in a continuous fashion. Now this is really important because this is how you start to differentiate it from Crohn's. Option D, diagnostic test showing ulcers spaced out along the colon with no specific pattern. So this is an incorrect option for ulcerative colitis. This is actually diagnostic of Crohn's. They refer to it as a cobblestone appearance. So it's important to remember that UC is a continuous ulcer from the rectum moving up, which makes sense why we have liquid bloody stools. And then Crohn's is more of a patchy ulcer throughout the colon, okay? So you might see liquid bloody stools in Crohn's, but you might not. Option E, abdominal x-ray showing string sign or constriction in the terminal ileum. This is incorrect. This is also specific for Crohn's. So it's important to remember that Crohn's is patchy throughout the colon and it typically resides or originates in the terminal ileum. Remember the ileus is the distal part of the small intestines that connects to the colon, which is the ascending colon. Review your anatomy to refresh if you don't follow where I'm going with that. And this is also important because our terminal ileum with a connection to the ascending colon is on our right side. So these patients are typically gonna present with right lower quadrant pain. Option F, low grade fever with leukocytes elevated on a complete blood count or a CBC. This is also incorrect. This is specific to Crohn's disease, okay? I hope you learned something. Follow for more. 